Welcome back to Data to Decisions. In today's video, we will learn how to calculate the Sunday of the first week of every month. And this will come in very, very handy when we start designing calendars in Excel. Now let's get started. I already have the first of uh, each month calculated. And if you're interested in learning this, we already have a previous video in this channel where we talked about how to generate the starting and the ending days of each month. But for this video, I'm going to go quickly to now we know the first day of each month. Let's just display. This is just for us to follow along easily. I want to see what weekday it falls on. So for example, January 2024 starts on a Monday. February starts on a Thursday, as you can see on the calendar uh, images on the right here. Now, Excel has a function called weekday. And when you use the weekday function, you can pass the date. So for example, the first of the month, comma, I'm going to use one, which is the default, where Sunday is one, Monday is two, and so on. And this works great when we want to first find out the first Sunday of the first week. This will come in handy. So I'm going to start calculating the weekday. So now we know January, it starts on the second day of the week. February starts on the fifth day of the week. As you can see here on the calendar images. So let me just bring it to here. January starts on Monday, which is the second day of the week. February starts on Thursday, which is the fifth day of the week. Great. Now, even though they start in different days, but we want to find out the starting of the week, which is a Sunday. So in the case of January, it starts on the second day of the week. But I want to go back, not two days, but one day. In February, it starts on the fifth day of the week, and I want to go back four days to find my Sunday. So in simple terms, Whatever you already identified as the nth day of the first week, subtract one. That gives us how many days do I have to go back from the first of the month. So now the formula becomes very, very simple. Choose the first day of the month, subtract the calculated value that we did, and that gives you this information. Now let's check. January, Sunday is 31st December, correct? February, it is 28th of January. Perfect. For example, September starts on a Sunday. So for that case, we don't have to go back. And so we start from Sunday itself, which is the 1st of September. Let's check all of these are Sundays. Very, very simple. Use a text function, comma, DDD. All of this should be Sundays. Exactly. So. It is accurate. Now let's do in a single formula. Um, the formula would be weekday, the first day of the month minus weekday of this, my one, which is the default. And I want to subtract one here, right? So I'll do one, hit enter. And let's do this. Okay. So it looks like exactly exactly the same dates in there 25th 31st 28th 26th um and again we can check this also just to make sure that this is all um sundays let's do that and these two formulas are the same but this one is not so it's telling us that oh did you get it wrong did you want to really put the text function formula in there I'm saying in this case, no. So thank you, Excel, for trying to help me. Uh, but in this case, this is correct. We can ignore the error. The single formula is basically taking the first of the month, subtracting the weekday of the first of the month minus one. That's it. So you identify which day of the week you're starting on, and then you subtract this many days and you arrive on the Sunday. So this work method will work for you to find out the Sunday of the first week of any month. And we can tweak this a little to make it more dynamic. And if you don't want to start on a Sunday, if you want to start on a, another day, like a Monday, the formula can be tweaked easily. And we'll see that in one of the future videos. 
Please post your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, until we meet again in the next session of Data to Decisions, thank you so much for watching.